Hi there, I'm Nita and Piki and thank you for watching my video. So, someone has asked me to create a video for them and I'm so thankful for you firstly. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I know it's kind of hard going to the internet and asking a random stranger to give you more information about something that you probably don't know much about and I, I applaud you for your braveness and i applaud you for reaching out and if this video makes no sense to you let me know and i'll make another one for you and i'll try to be more clearer to be honest with you i was it's there's so many reasons why this video took so long to come about number one i had no idea how to format this because it's like asking me for my personal experiences and like any expectations i had or didn't have or things that i had to like think about i was like how am i going to word this properly so i just thought i'm going to have like a conversational format with kind of some structure to it so i don't ramble <laughs> and then um if anything i'd say doesn't make any sense as i said just like let me know and i will make another video for you no problem another thing that i got my vaccination around the same time that i got asked to do this so i was kind of sick ish um so but your girl's good and she's fully vaxxed so <laughs> yay um but yes i'm just gonna do this video for you and like i'm like not a youtuber <laughs> i know i post stuff on youtube and i will post more if i'm like if i get an audience <laughs> but no um i won't consider my youtuber i'm just gonna be your big sister on the internet that kind of helps you sometimes if you need any help so she asked me or he or they or non-binary i don't know um they asked me um to kind of explain my own experiences in this degree and also um kind of what to expect in this degree so when it comes to the concept of saying what to expect when it comes to like specific subjects I won't really go into that a lot just because those are very kind of your own kind of thinking your own kind of degree of understanding so I can't really um, prepare you for that completely because it's really going to be up to how you grasp the work that is given to you but what I can give you is some advice or some things that you need to look out for when you are in this degree and kind of how you can navigate your way out of it or thinking um if it's the right choice for you i'm just gonna go through first year second year and third year explain kind of how those years were for me um give one or two or three advices about how to get through those years and kind of explain about what i wish i had forethought before um i entered those years okay so i also want to make this overall advice for like all the years you are in no matter what year you are, even no matter what degree you choose to do at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you this and I hope you take it fully like listening to me, okay? Do what you want to do, okay? Do what you want to do. Don't do or choose different modules or subjects because of academic pressure, of societal pressure, of parental pressure. Don't let anyone make you choose something because they think they know what's best for you. The only person knows what's best for you. So ultimately, you have to make decisions about what's best for you and what's best for what you like to do. Know what you like. Know what the subjects that you, know that some subjects will propel you one way, one way or another. So just trying to do it the way that you would want to do or things that you want to do. Okay. So first year, honestly, I was in the same boat as you. I was choosing between ot and human life sciences and ot is established career is established degree that you kind of know at the end of the day you're going to be an ot so there's some kind of benefits to that because it's like you have a degree with kind of like a clear um, profession afterwards compared to like something like human life sciences where it's very kind of a, there's no like defined um career afterwards so you have to um be more open-minded in this degree and kind of like take things as they come to you things are not always going to be planned out in life and that's okay the unknown sometimes is scary but the unknown can unravel so much possibilities that you probably didn't even know you had um for me 
I was anxious because like I as I said before human life sciences doesn't really have a specific career afterwards so you are anxious about what are your future perspectives perspects of that but there's the beauty of human life science is that you have so much options actually afterwards compared to like doing a one stream degree where at the end of the day there's only one thing you can do and that's ot or pharmacy or whatever that may be so taking that in strive and not find it and not seeing it as a bad thing but actually a good thing of hey i have something that i can have so many other doors open for me that are non in the traditional sphere and Kind of enjoying that aspect of it one thing i also would want to have known in my first year is to enjoy my first year because honestly the fact you got to stick to two university is an amazing thing do you know that only like the top 10 percent of the country gets accepted to universities every year so you are the top 10 percent of the country that you got into university so congratulations celebrate your wins celebrate the fact that you are here in the space and that you are able to do a degree and it's something that not everyone else can do and you are doing it so just like be happy in that sense another thing i also would like to learn is to not compare myself to other students and to other um academic academics around me in your first year university has this funny thing of um showing your marks to everyone okay they put all your marks in an excel sheet or a pdf or something but ultimately everyone and their mother can see your marks and you are like why are like why why you be like that though like um for me honestly whenever that pdf or that excel sheet of marks came out I could not help myself by look, by look by other people's marks, by look by other students' marks, and to compare my marks to their marks. And me telling you, don't doing that won't probably stop you from not doing that. But don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your mental health because it's like their successes are not your lose losses. Like their wins are not your losses. You did well. You did good enough. You did well enough in that test or assignment or practical. Don't compare yourself to your other students, your other fellow colleagues, because they're probably out here having anxiety too. And the last advice I would have for first year is learn through every single experience. Explore as much as you can. Explore, explore, explore. Like honestly, your first year, you're not really settled down into any subject because, firstly. Even in your own degree, in your in your faculty, you're not like held down by any subject because um, all first year university students in human life, not in human life sciences, in like just science faculty, we're all doing the same modules. So we're all kind of just intermingling with one another and kind of seeing how the science field will cheat us. So like you're exposed to all different sub sciences, not just human life sciences, but um, animal, plants, um, geology evolution zoology like you explore you expose to so many kinds of sciences and and you are like in a position where you can literally start to find what you love the most so just kind of use this opportunity to kind of explore as much as you can and seek out any information that you would like to know more about and i think and you don't even have to like restrict yourself to the science like department you can sneak into a business <laughs> a business like course or you can sneak into like a uh engineering because this was literally this one guy in our my like first year class who snuck into a lot of our classes into in first year and now he ended up being part of human life sciences as well so it's like the beauty about first year just in general regardless of the degree that you do that you have ample amount of space to explore and being who you are and i feel like that's a really good benefit to have be in especially um um when you're not sure what you want to do because when you're in upper campus you explore literally all types of fields compared to like when you're in a medical campus where you're only exposed to kind of medical stuff so yeah that's just like some advice for first year Second year for me, I was a bit more settled. I was a bit more focused in like what I wanted to do. I had more kind of a purpose in what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. So I was more happier in a sense. But there are kind of things that I wish I kind of knew when I entered that year. So one thing I forgot to say in your first year is that in first year, um, things are very high school-ish. And I mean this in the sense of like parent learning is still something that's still prevalent in um, first year of university I think it's some 
I think they do it because they don't want kids to have such a huge jarring change between first year and second year. But second year hits you like a ton of bricks. Um, second year, you are like thrown into the deep end basically. Um, you have to really practice the ideas and the thinking methods of compar of comprehensive thinking. So kind of thinking outside the, kind of the parrot format that you've been taught in since high school of just the textbook says this, therefore you're going to say this. You know, you have to kind of think about cause and effect kind of thinking and if this happens then this will happen so what does this mean if this and this and that i personally love this kind of thinking because i love comprehensive thinking i love the idea of problem solving and kind of thinking about solutions as you go and not being given everything to you i like the fact that you have to kind of find your way out of something i personally enjoy that kind of learning but I know for a lot of students, there was a jarring change between first and second year where you had like this one format that is a format that you've been used to your whole entire academic life and then completely does a 180 on you and you now have to kind of do this kind of um, self-thinking, independent thinking kind of format. And even though a lot of kids eventually do adapt to this form of thinking, it is kind of hard to first get into it when you first start your second year but as you go it gets a bit easier and it gets more fun for me personally so i would also say like just be prepared for like the complete switch that happens from first year to second year i would also advise you to choose what you want to do okay as i said in the beginning this is going to be the overarching kind of advice i'm going to give to you choose what you want to do if you're a person who want to do more a specific type of science then choose the elective that will help you explore a bit more of that type of science just an example for me in the university of Stellenbosch, in your second year you get two electives you get um, anatomy and you get um, microbiology now anatomy is not a guarantee elective meaning that you need to have a certain um percentage to get into anatomy and get into um and to do anatomy because it's a medical school um, course so you have to get correlate with their kind of standards and uh, and I know that that kind of academic pressure makes you think like you have to do anatomy to prove your academic wealth because if you can say you got into this highly selective degree or highly selective module it means that you academically are smarter or something like that but if it's not something that you want to do in general why would you do it anyway you know so like really choose the kind of stuff that you want to do honestly and true heartedly don't let academic pressure or parental pressure or any kind of person tell you that you need to do this because you need to prove anything don't even tell yourself that just kind of really take the time to choose what you want to do and go for that also another thing in third year be proud of yourself be proud of yourself that you have made it this far in university because statistically people drop out in first year and you made it to your third year and that's an amazing accomplishment to have and not just in your that you'll be proud of yourself you proud of yourself every single step that you make that you progress that you're there because a lot of the times we put so much pressure on ourselves to be the best to succeed to like strive for everything great but just like be proud of yourself that you made it thus far in your academic career and like give yourself grace that's all just give yourself some grace so that's kind of second year for me um and third year honestly is kind of a repeat of first or second year um, where you have electives again so again choose what you want to do because ultimately your electives that you choose in your third year are your like your speciality so if you like a person who really likes genetics choose genetics if you like biochemistry choose biochemistry don't choose things because you're thinking of oh if i choose this type of like elective that means i'm so you know no choose what you want to do and like really start to learn yourself as you go through your years start to learn your strengths and your weaknesses start to learn that what type of science really interests you as a person and really trying to hyper focus on that and kind of block out anything anyone that tells you to do anything differently so yeah that's it um i'm trying not to be a long ramble if you want um things when it comes to actual subjects like the subjects um let me know and i'll create another video focusing more on the subjects but these are just generalized um feelings that i had during this process um if you are um liking what i say or you want more stuff like this let me know um again i'm not gonna commit myself to youtube because um anxiety 
she's something <laughs> but yeah but just let me know if this kind of stuff will be interesting to you i want to create it something next week just talking about um media doctors and social media doctors and how uh, facebook is not a medical profession that will be interesting to you um let me know and i'll create a video like that but if you don't it's fine i'm not committing myself to anything i'm really <laughs> anxious if this was helpful for you please let me know and if you want more information about human life sciences let me know and i'll gladly create context for you um i'm nisa and thank you so much for watching bye